Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel and welcome to another episode of Dennis Dickinson's Modeling Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! You may notice that I do not have a biscuit on my lap currently. That's because Biscuit is currently out here, just out here eating his breakfast. Can you hear that? Yeah, I f love eggs! Well, there you go. Biscuit is in a bit of an odd phase right now. He's going through his like puppyhood to adult phase and he's going through his first big like fur shed and he is getting fur absolutely everywhere and it keeps getting like stuck in my makeup and stuck up my nose so I'm just gonna have him like on the floor. So my lovelies. Talking about Janice Dickens' modeling. <laughs> in the last episode it was a bizarre collection of like the new versus the old. Oh my god how many press ups can your models do? Which girl has unsightly cellulite in a bikini girl's back rolls? And it was just really quite difficult to watch actually. Once again it became the Janice Dickinson show no competition aspect, even though the models seem like they were talking about a competitive aspect. It should be a well-managed agency designed for getting money and jobs for their clients and their talent. Oh, that's nice. Also, at the very end of the last episode, we saw quite a, a cliff hanger, shall we say? Oh, don't you go near that cliff. <laughs> Where JP Calderon was quizzed by Janice if he wanted to do a cover of a homosexual magazine. But in order to do this, he would have to come out as homosexual. A homosexual. And this, of course, sparked some discourse in the comments. A lot of people were saying that they remember this episode and it seemed a lot better in history than it did now. I mean, we hear that story all the time at the moment, really, don't we? No, it seems to be everything we do is like, I remember this being a bit better than it is now. I washed my hair today and I am once again the fluffiest sheep that ever did fluff. The conversation between Janice and JP Calderon seemed very difficult, very like lots of pausing, lots of like dramatic music. Janice was in a way trying to pick her words carefully, but also it was just a televised coming out. Ah, oh, look, it's Mr. Biscuits. Did you enjoy your breakfast, Biscuit? How's that good boy? Yes, Mr. Biscuit. Mr. Biscuit. I can't talk like that too much. I'll give myself a hernia. She's dead. So, my lovelies, without any further ado, shall we see what the tea might be in this week's episode? No. Pop your ohanger right into your little Janice hole and get yourself a beverage. Today I'm on the Monster Energy Ultra Fiesta because it's a party, girls. And let's watch Janice Dickinson's modeling. <laughs> Season two, episode five, fight or flight. Janice Dickens and Modeling Agency. In a pink dress, she's got goiter. Why is the audio so quiet now, right? 85% more. I use VLC player. I use VLC player and that's how I operate my world. Do your thing with an Afghan hound. I've got goiter. And that Afghan grew up to be Trini and Susanna. Both of them. Here we are, on the corner of Hollywood and Gap. Uh, how are you? Not too bad. Right. Oh. What's going on? What's going on? Have a talk with me. Instinct magazine had approached me Einstein. to feature JP for the cover of the magazine. The that's quite a magazine. That That's very, like, top shelf, like, swimwear, let's go and look at Calvin Klein underwear. That's very that sort of a magazine. Do you know what I mean? Pimp my pride. Pimp my pride. Okay, pimp my pride. Catch was they only featured Lions. gay men to pose on their covers. No, I didn't know if he was gay or not, or how he would even react to the mere suggestion. Well, I was really nervous. This is quite exploitative. I imagine it probably was quite a have, moment, uh, but still, a I'm a bit like. Wants to book you for Instinct magazine, but there's there's a catch. They they have to use gay men on the cover. Would you be interested oh, in so doing this if you were a gay man, or and if you're not a gay man, it's really none of my business, and I feel really awkward asking. What's with the um, funeral music? I feel really awkward asking you this. I just want you to know that because I really respect you. You have to be gay to be on that, or? You do. I can hear you. And you know that I good. surround myself with gay men. I have. I, you know what? I, it's. It's. Yeah, you do. Do you want to look at it? <laughs> you can have a little look. Might see a willy. Most most modeling jobs do not involve personal stories. It would be a personal story about you, where you came from, what you're all about, and where you're going. What, what would be the benefit of doing this? The benefit of doing that magazine would be, it's a lot of exposure. But, a lot um, of exposure. That's the only benefit. No pay, just exposure. Do you need to talk to me and to tell me what you're thinking, JP? I guess if I 
do the cover on gay, right? So, That's cool. Yeah, it was still in the time where like coming out was not always the best option. I'll do it. You'll do it? For your career. <gasps> Frozen! She's dead! Because you're you're scared of losing the people that are so close to you. Being yes. your best friends, your close friends, and, yes. and most importantly, your family. Yes. And I just, I didn't want to be considered a disappointment. I'll do it. I just, I guess I, I just don't want to give up like a sense of my masculinity. And... Oh my goodness me, my love. Being a homosexual does not have anything to do with giving up masculinity. Look at the circus queens. Jesus was a bottom. So I can actually relate a little bit there to that idea of being like a disappointment. So in my, gosh, when was this? This must've been like 12 years ago now, maybe even longer than that. I remember going on a small little vacation with my dad and my uncle. And um, it was after my mum had passed away. So it can't have been 12 years ago. It must've been like 11 years ago. And we were in a car waiting to get on a ferry and I can't remember exactly how the conversation came up, but it did come up. I knew I was trans at this point, but I hadn't really come out. I don't know how, I don't know how, what led up to this, but I remember saying the words, I just don't want to be a disappointment or a joke to anyone. After like a couple of seconds of silence or so in the car, I remember my uncle being like, that can never happen to you. Like, we will never be disappointed of you. Heavy subjects today, girls. Over the hills and far away, Teletubbies come to die. There's nothing wrong with your masculinity, JP. Oh I don't want to be stereotyped. Uh, Nothing's more manly than lots of men in a room. Today's word of the day is bukaki. Bukaki. I like to be. There's nothing wrong with that. Being a man is not being an athlete or big muscles. It's about being honest. It's about being a man, having true convictions to yourself. I hate hating myself. Oh, I hate hating myself. <gasps> How many of us have been there? Uh, but also a broken clock is right twice per day. And I truly hate myself. I truly don't like who I am. And maybe this is my way of letting go and Finding out who's gonna accept me and finding out who's not. That's so just, sad. What's going on in there? Just thinking, man, when I well, if they don't accept you, they're not your friends or family, really, are they? I'm happy. I'm happy that you chose me to share this with. Hugs. Thank you. Okay, You're so I, I'm, I'm in JP a daze right now. On. I mean, I I don't. Is doing I'm a happy. Game I'm excited. Cover. I'm scared. I'm apprehensive, and I'm not really sure what the hell I'm doing right now. You are the same person oh, you were when you walked ever? in five minutes ago. Only now the difference is there's something you don't have to hide anymore. Let's go, let's go rule the world. Come on, sweetie. That was cool. Thanks. I'm just tired of living this facade of something that I'm not. And oh, I just want to start living something that I am. I better go home and start telling people. Wow. But then also, like, how many straight men in your family will be watching Janice Dickinson's modeling agency? What a weird, difficult situation that was. The idea that back in the day, that was a cliffhanger that you would have had to wait a week to see the answer from. I mean, here on the Chanel, my lovelies, you've had to wait a month to get that. Budget cuts. But it kind of does feel a little bit like production heavy because it's kind of coercing someone to come out with the prospect of exposure on a magazine cover. There was no utterance of pay there for his story. To be honest, there's never really been an utterance of pay except in the first season when they were like, we pay the models this much for being in shoes. Janice is in the red dress, what's she gonna do? Who's she gonna humiliate now? Hey, good morning. Would you just roll in for the night? Oh. Before you look hot. Not really. You look good. JP left me re- Before you look hot. Morning. We need to listen Would to that again. Would you just roll in for the night? Before you look hot. Not really. You look- Oh, I find that a bit odd. JP left me I find really, you very rude. really inspired, but now I have to get down to business. I recently really made inspired Nathan by the, the agenda. head of the agency's commercial division. Why don't you take the job if you think you can legitimately make a side agency? I don't know why. Why does she give a side agency of like commercial models to her 18 year old son? Why didn't she give it to Peter Hamble, who apparently is already like a successful agent in his own right. Like, why? Why? Because he's dead. By all means, you got a deal. Be all me This way I could concentrate on building a high fashion agency, but we could- She has been in eight different positions in eight different hairstyles already, and we are six minutes in. Survive in the meantime by taking on the no jobs continuity that we're back sure in the day. money makers. I have to 
careful consideration, I thought that it might behoove the agency, especially because I don't really approve of the ring job, and I know we need the money. Today, Nathan is bringing in his first client, the International Fight League, one of the largest mixed martial artist leagues in the whole wide world. Okay. It's kind of like boxing with no gloves, and they kick the I mean, there's gl I can see gloves, so that's a lie. My female models as ring girls. Nathan and I talked, and I think that- Why not really be trailblazer? Put JP Calder on out there as a ring girl. Are you leaving? Oh, sorry, Biscuit. <laughs> Are, like, ring girls paid enough to justify, like, an agency being involved? I don't know about you, but I've been to a couple of boxing matches now. <laughs> Well, I'm obviously the expert. Uh. And while they do use the same girls each time, I don't think that they are represented by agencies. I think they are friends of friends, friends of friends, daughters, friends of friends, friends, whatever. Like, I think they're just like in people, in with the company in some way. So I think this, although in America, everything is so much bigger and there's so much more money and everything. So maybe it is a bit different. I don't know. I just struggle, struggle bus girls. I could be a ring girl. Uh, fight number two. Cause that's what they do. <laughs> Nathan and I talked and I think that if Nathan wants to spearhead this entire um, experience up in Portland. The experience. Nathan can run it. Nathan can the run it. The chattest, we'll dickest of Basically what happened was, you know, the argument of what's been going on. High fashion versus Maxim. I talked her into high, allowing us to do that. High fashion versus Maxim. She's putting it on me if it's going to succeed or not. Um, that's great, actually. I like the idea. I'm watching both of you on this, okay? So if you guys prove to me that this will run, brings in revenue for the agency, be a businessman. Yeah. I find it funny that Janice thinks she's in charge. Like, to me, this is like, people are doing things behind the scene and then just Janice comes in and ruins it all, but she's got the air of like, this is my show, I know what's happening in here. And I don't think that's quite the case. You wanna do it? Act you wanna do it? Okay, don't rile you me wanna up, be on I'll kick your ass out. All right. He's Welcome not to got any experience. Thank you. It's great to be here. My partner Welcome Karen to the and I are out here in Los Angeles, coming in from New York to find our official ring girls. Peter yeah, Ham, yeah, my son Nathan Fields. Nice to meet you. The ring girl is a very public figure for our company, and that's somebody that's going to represent us to the fans and to television and to the athletes. After careful consideration, Peter and I have just really ring girls do all that. I thought they were just like say. I didn't think they were like representation. That would be Nathan. He's a fan of the sport, right? Um, a. Cool. B, he knows, uh, he knows how I operate and how I think. He uh, is our demographic, so it's That's why he's here. Right. Yeah, it's great. Nathan's running the show here, not me. I am not putting my name on this at all. For the record, I was pretty much against it to begin with. Well, against the idea. Why? It's not really typically what I wanted to do when, when I started the modeling agency. Quite frankly, in, during my entire supermodel career, I don't ever remember Kate, Cindy, Elle, or any of the other girls come into the ring and become ring girls. You come to the show, you'll see oh, that, firsthand. It, there's, there's a lot of women that I'm, came to the show. Trust me, what's your name again? Kurt. Kurt, I'm not here to argue with you, just being straight up, which is what you like about me. This is my first job, and my mom already started telling the client that she wasn't thrilled to be working with him. It was already getting my first job off to an uncomfortable start. Yeah, you're making it very difficult. You didn't have to do any of all that. You don't even have to be here. You could be like, hi, I'm Janice. Yes, you'll be dealing with my son. Goodbye forever. Perfect. Everyone wins in that situation. Oh, what will the girls be wearing? We have uh, um, an outfit that we put together. It's a broad type top with, uh, with a hot pants. Pant. Now, what is your normal rate for a girl? I mean, right now, we, we're at $500 a day. What? Like well, you, this is the deal. Right now, in the industry, most of the top girls get 500 a day. So if there's 10,000 guys in the audience, with all due respect, they have to cough up more than 500 bucks per pop, sorry. We're not selling tickets because guys want to see the ring girls. The reality is, is that, you know, people are tuning to us, you know, to watch the fights. I'm going to excuse myself. That is exactly true. So I don't know why Janice is like, how dare you? Like, this is, this is not, this isn't modeling. This isn't modeling. This is not modeling. Just like last episode with the handbags by the pool was also not modeling. And I bet the ring girls are getting paid more than the handbag models were. Period. For two seconds, Nathan and Peter will discuss it. Ray, that's not, I don't, that's, that's not satisfactory for me, $500. So you guys discuss it. Okay, excuse me, I'll be right back. I didn't want to take this job from the outset. And I certainly didn't like it anymore when I heard the feedback. I promised Five. Nathan that he could have this one, but I didn't have to like it. Right. And also, this is not just a one-shot opportunity. You know, you might be looking at this from a pure dollar standpoint, 
but we're going to be able to take these girls and give them exposure that they may never be able to get just by working on a runway or working in a fashion or a catalog. Right. As Exposure to what though? Like, where do you go from a ring girl? You don't go like, I'm a ring girl and now I've moved up to being a bigger ring girl. I hate the way that all these shows seem to throw around the word exposure like it means anything. I'm perfectly capable of exposing myself, thank you. Secrets in life. It's still fledgling agency. We're not really in a position to play hardball. So Nathan and I decided to take their offer. So how old are you? I am 19. 19. Yeah, but the reason you guys came was to see some girls, so let me bring some. All right. All right. Oh, dear. Come on in. Oh, dear. What is she I'm still doing here? I'm referring to Nathan on this job, ladies, so whatever Nathan has to say, he's speaking for me. Has anybody ever... But she was also just like, he's not speaking for me. I'm not putting my name on this. It's got nothing to do with me, girls. So what's true, Janice? What's T? Worked as a ring well, girl before in, in, in any type of fighting. You better work, no. bitch. Do you have anybody have a problem representing a professional sport league like this? I mean, absolutely no disrespect. I hope if I'm out of line, just let me know, Janice. Um, I am interested in being a high fashion editorial model. I can't absolutely. Let me finish your sentence because I have my girls' backs. Uh, I have set up with the guys a fashion shoot up in Portland with the fighters in the background by talent that I will be personally bringing up there. Mama's always got your back. Don't worry about it. I'm allowing what? Stina and Pierce to skip this audition. They would never want to do a job like this. And quite frankly, I wouldn't make them. However, since they really need to expand their portfolios, I have arranged to shoot them with the fighters. I will personally take the photographs myself. They will be absolutely artistic and oh, fashionable. They're going to be the worst photos you've ever seen in your life, girls. The ring girl job How is will it be fashion? strictly oh, revenue hallucinations. This agency. Oh, I'm hallucinating the medicine. Oh, Rose, how I do miss the garden. We just would right, like to say bikinis. this, a little, just a little coin phrase to take us back from a commercial into the show. So kind of say it enthusiastically, hey, stand bitch. kind of sexy. Hey, did you, you win again? Oh, you got to memorize already. Hi, my name is Pamela Carey, and this is the International Fight League. I'm here with Jumai John Jisoo that just won. And we're here at the IFL IF finals. That's good. Now, do you want to try it again, maybe reading it? Is this, like, is this a joke? Like, is it a joke? Did they just say, do you want to have a go at maybe reading it? Good. Now, do you want to try it again, maybe reading it? <sighs> Getting ulcers again. Hello, I'm Tracy Laslinko, and I'm with oh, the she's shaking. International she's shaking like Fight League, and we're live. Hello, I'm Natalie Winsel with the International Fight League, and we're yeah, live. Now rush through it. This is not the dentist's yeah. office. Oh. Hello, I'm Jenny Gilbertson with the International Don't Fight League. Don't look down and read it like you're in class. Hi, I'm Desiree Bick. We're here at the International Fight League. The other thing that we had them do was hold up the ring cards and walk around chairs as if it was the full ring set up. This is not modeling. This is not modeling. This is not modeling. Nobody is looking at a ring girl and going, Oh, that walk girl's our fashion queen. Whilst they're at a fighting match, a boxing match, an MMA experience. I mean, I am when I go, but that's because it's different reasons. Right, everybody, remember, hold up your number and walk around the chair. Not looking at the chair, but walk around the chair. Watching the other girls prance around in their bikinis, I thought it was pretty funny. I just couldn't imagine myself walking around in a bikini and holding around a sign like a meatard. <sighs> they do love a slur, don't they? They do love an ableist slur in this show. Just to let you know, I do not approve of that ableist slur. Take a quick break. Got time. Right, who's this? A demon has arrived. Praise Satan! Hi, how are you? Hello. My name's Kurt. I'm Erin. Nice to meet you. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. Hi. I just got back from a job. I just got off a plane. Wow. Who, who are you? It's all right. First of all, are you a mixed martial arts fight fan? Yeah, totally. Are Ultimate you? fighting, and yeah, it's fun. Have you ever been a ring girl before? No. I so you not. just mostly just do photo shoots, that kind of stuff? Yeah, and some runway and uh, yeah, lingerie and swimwear modeling. Could we quickly see you in your bathing suit? I love the fact that it was like, and runway stuff, you know, just sort of stuff like that, you know? Got no idea about the fashion industry, but I do need a model. <laughs> sure. Thank you very right, much. Please. So just take it off right here. Just go for it, man. <laughs> You're gonna see me blush. You guys come to a decision yet? Yeah, let's get off a plane. Oh, you got off a plane. Where'd you go before? Mexico. You just went to Mexico? Nope. I was at a job. Uh, yeah. 
Erin walked in uncomfortably late. I was extremely shocked after what she pulled at the Alan Del Rosario fashion show. Well, your girl, she dropped out the last year. What? Yeah, are you kidding me? Yes. Erin? Yes. She didn't pull anything. Peter was like, we're sending her to a paid gig over this charity show. She didn't even call, nothing. She didn't show up there, and I still gave her another chance. And now she goes and pulls this? Forget about it. If they book you, you have to show up. Yeah. yeah because Alan Del Rosario was furious at me because you, you, she didn't show up. Oh, OK. But the day that um, I did book that job, um, What? I did, did, I did, don't give me sign language. language. Yeah. Tell me what. I, I, I gave Peter. No. You made a mistake. The next time it happens, I don't care if it's you or Peter or anybody. Excuse me. Stop, Peter. Look, I, I'm driving the bus. I have to know. It's my relationship with Alan that got you in there in the first place. Well, okay. yeah, but that day I got booked on a job. Okay, but that day there were telephones Peter. everywhere. Pick up Jenna, the phone. Can we call? Peter, I'm not talking to you. I don't think it ever looks good to argue in front of clients. No, uh, never. Sometimes, but I also feel it's better for me to step in and protect the models when, in this situation, it wasn't their fault. It's not yes. her fault. It's not my fault. The oh, client you know made what? Mistake. There's two sides to the story right now, but I have they to... They apologize in an email. You want me to forward it to you? I never got the email that Peter said took place with Alan Del Rosario. I never, I never saw that. So I'm I, I don't trust Peter in this instance. I, I think he's lying to me. Oh my God, could you imagine ever working with Janice Dickinson? It would be like the most chaotic environment ever. Like nothing will function because she feels like she has to be involved in everything. But also, she's also not very good at managing. So it's like, how can you be, how can you micromanage everyone and everything, but also be just terrible at management? We never see the same client twice in this show, do we? We never hear of people coming back and being like, we had a wonderful experience with Janice Dickerson's modeling agency. Let's get six more. No. <laughs> Ah, ah. Book this job, you have to show up. That's my point. To book okay? this job, you gotta this show up. You gotta show up. You gotta strap in. The, you gotta strap on. Like you, and you don't show up, you're gonna be out of the agency. Okay. So, well, she's, so far, yeah, she's the only one the doing paid jobs. So. so it isn't. Just read it first and got it. Hi, I'm Erin Noss with the International Fight League, and we're here live at the IFL Finals. Great. And the other thing that we've done is um, we've set up. Uh, we've also put these gigantic uh, anal beads on your neck. One! Oh, uh, yes. Bust number one, please. Yeah, line, line, line up. everybody up. Oh, can we get everybody in a line? All right, it's in, it's in no particular order, but the first person that definitely shined is Fargo. Oh, yes. So she's been getting, like, regular work throughout this entire series. Two blondes in a row is Desiree. Desiree. Congratulations. And... Uh, does she have her dress on back? She's got like a sweetheart cut dress, but the sweetheart is on the back. Oh, that sort. <laughs> her fashionably late, Erin. Hi. Yes, I really like wearing two camisoles. Just like me. I'm actually glad that I didn't get it because I feel like that my self-worth is way more classier than what they want. It doesn't mean that just because we pick three that there's not an opportunity for you guys in other areas because we have so many events, not only our fights, but also our conventions and stuff like that. It'll be Fargo, Desiree, and Aaron heading up to Portland as ring girls walking around in between the rounds during the IFL And fights. they'll be getting Stina five, well, they won't be getting five hundred dollars. The agency shoes. will. At least they got that right. out of it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Coming up. Coming up, girls! The woman is on the go! On the jacket to pop up with your black liaise. Oh, makeup girls! Well, today oh. it's early in the morning and we are going to begin the Instinct Magazine photo shoot. Is he in a graveyard? I, I realize that this Ooh, is it like shoot is about goth, me. But gay. I'm coming out in a huge, huge way. It's not like I'm just telling a friend or two. Top secret! Some, uh, and the whole world yep. about myself. I like these. Right. Okay. Oh, Those he's in easy. such good shape. Yeah. Those are good. These are cool. Oh, I like okay. them, yes. That one's good. What's this? Who are they? Bad scouts. This is the one time in my life that I feel so vulnerable and I feel so self-conscious. I don't yes. even know if I'm good looking anymore. I don't even know if I'm confident anymore. I don't want my girlfriend like to wear color. all of these shorts. We're thrilled that JP decided to, to do our cover. We think it's, you know, a great decision. Mike Wood. Decision for him and um, we're really proud of him and think that it's a chance for him to tell oh, his right. story. And I just think that's why we wanted to get him on our cover so bad. Okay. Do you want to wear that? No. I don't want to be a sailor. They won't bother me. Not even close. Okay. Yeah, make it to try that. Like, yeah. Make it to the pattern. I completely made that up. I just didn't want to put those on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is my only once in a lifetime shot 
of doing something so grand. I wanted it to come off in the most appropriate way, in a way that represented me. Just this? Um, I'm not, no. Okay. No, yeah, I, if I it was like, no, very, no, absolutely not. No, we're not doing all that. That's just too much. Doing the most, team too much. Top secret, secret top. Jesus was a bottom. I would have no problem wearing that if that company hired me as their model to, does that make sense? It's not about me, it's about their product. Well, that's tea. Kind of about me. This is it, a it, it is about, it is about you. Me. I mean, I'm, I'm doing something kind of pivotal for myself and I don't want my first, like, Public thing to be. You look at me. I'm in a crop top and <laughs> of course, and I'm wearing gold chains and and you know. Wait, I'm totally sensitive. Yeah, we just thought. You know, so does that make sense? Like, Absolutely. We're ready to get started. You ready? That's right. Okay. Interesting. So what do you reckon? Looking pretty hot there. Too hot. Too hot for Rosie. Oh, hey. Too hot for Rosie. Oh, How are you? She's here. Yeah, with her gold. That's right. Nice to see you. Size has that changed. I love handcuff. what you're doing today. Thank you so much. Thank it's been you. a pleasure, really. Can really I have a word with him for a second, please? Surely. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. I went to JP's photo shoot as an agent, but more importantly, as a friend. Oh, she loves the sound bite, doesn't she? This is a new chapter in his life. Yes. It's also a new chapter in tea. You know, coming out yesterday, it must be really hard, and then being on a cover of a national magazine the next day. Well on you, mate. I mean, well on you. You know, it's really, really good. Well on you, mate. I'm happy. Matey like you boy. Second guessing myself. You know, be I'm, I'm, I'm just... Still, you know, a little insecure about some stuff. And what? Be straight I just, up. I, you know, I do care what some people think about me. Who? I gotta get over. Who? Like family and friends and stuff like family that. Family and friends. Family, friends, students of your volleyball will only respect the fact that you, you've become honest with yourself and everybody else. I do think that's a little bit like rose tinted because quite often, usually in a situation, there's someone somewhere that's gonna be like, Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. And you can give them time to adjust to your, um, re uh, to, to the revelation, I guess, or to the revealing of your true self. You can give them time to adjust, but if they don't adjust, there's no amount of like, oh, I really respect you, that will stop like fundamentalist hate. Sorry, it's just tea. Cut it off, dead limb. Live for yourself, not through other people's eyes in the way you think you should be in their eyes. I mean, broken Otherwise, you, you would be a very unhappy old person, trust me. I learned actually from Janice that, you know, you can never second guess oh, yourself. Very hot the more you do that, the more happier the you're gonna be in your life. And, and nobody should go through that. And it doesn't No, you should put on a speedo and be on a magazine, girl. Your own life, and only you can make success for yourself. That is tea. I'm really, really, really proud of you, okay? So I've got to get you back to the talk. Be your own biggest fan. Come here. Make your own gay magazine. Back a little bit. That's the right one. Oh, bird's eye. Oh my god, do you see the difference between a professional photographer and Janice? That is a great example of a fitness photo. Do you remember when Janice made him model and she had him like crouched on the floor like a frog? Do you remember that? But with the, he also had like a towel over him and he was off center and getting like dribbled on. What was that all about? I'm going to cream. This is tea. This is tea. This is tea. Even the fact of where the shadow is coming from on this picture has distorted the leg being held up enough that you don't get the sense that one leg is just a lot shorter than the other. You get the sense of depth. The shadows are in the right place to show off all the definition of his very toned body. And you also see an illuminated face because that's how you do lighting. Nothing of what Janice has done previously in any photos. I say it what I say it. Beautiful, nice like that. Up a little bit more. Gorgeous like that. Gorgeous. Give him different expressions, pal. Oh yeah, I like that. You look oh, great. Time to get moist. You've got to try everything you can to help him flow and look gorgeous and relaxed. The difference. We almost do need somebody in there to hold his legs up. JP he was flailing around and his arms were going everywhere and his legs are going everywhere. And he's trying to keep afloat and Peter not drown. Peter Brown. Peter Brown, what are you up to now? You are very good. I hope you aren't problematic when I do some research later. <laughs> I feel like everyone I say is good from this day and age. I'm like, oh, do you know what? I should probably Google that before I say it. And uh, we were like, how can we solve this sort of problem? Should I get underneath him? Try it. That's a good idea, Janice. I think we should try it. And that's when Janice And she already in, got a swimsuit on. Then... Oh, but look. She's already wearing her swimsuit underneath that. So this is planned production nonsense. This isn't just Janice being like, I'm here to help my friend. This is... 
Oh my God, is it also going to be about me? Am I going to be in the pool? I'm melting! I'm melting! This is really weird. This whole setup of this show is really weird. It's so Janice heavy. Like, she didn't even need to be there at this shoot, but she is. Try again. And that's when Janice jumped in and kind of helped out. And then by holding him up, then he could relax and he could like start to kind of compose his picture. And then suddenly we got something. I've got, now we've got something happening. Fantastic. Like that. Oh, it's actually There's worse. A that's a worse that's photo than earlier. Beautiful. Well, if I haven't got that now, I don't know what's wrong with me. Let me have a show you. See what you think. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. What do you think, Who's Mike Wood? Who's her hair? That's great. I'm Yay! very, very happy. It's a hit. We just finished the instinct shoot, and it went amazing. Okay, Katie good. was a rock star. I'm so happy with the way everything turned out. I mean, it's going to be great. I also did sledgehammering in tiny underwear. This is a really big deal for me. I mean, I got a magazine cover and an editorial spread, and, you know, I'm learning. I'm beginning to learn how to say with confidence right now that, yeah, okay, I am a gay man. And I am, We'd love to I'm see excited it. now. I'm excited to see what happens to me in life. I'm hoping that there's more good than bad that comes through this. But either way, all I know is that at least I'm going to be happier with myself. Okay. And there she is! There she is. A sexy survivor comes out and speaks up. I wouldn't have chosen this photo, but still. Wait, so did they superimpose this in after the episode had been filmed, I guess? Oh, that is cute though. Martha, eat your heart out! Martha Stewart. Is that Martha Stewart? Is she the one that was cancelled? Oh no, was she tax fraud? Tax fraud. Tax evasion. Ketamine and MDMA. Cancelled! All right, here we are, back at the Hacienda. Janice, came into the agency Ill. to take care of some Portland business with the IFL people. I also needed to call the girls to explain the details of the job. This is my first job with the agency, so oh, I wanted to make sure everything ran smoothly. Hey, what's going on with me then? Hi, Mr. I just wanted to call you to go over some of the Portland info. Yeah. First thing we're going to have to do is when we arrive at 3 o'clock is uh, the weigh-in. The IFL guys informed me that some of them are going to need to fully disrobe. Um, the guys are going to be vegan? They might be, because to make the weigh-in. Oh. Okay, well, I'll be completely honest. I'm not exactly comfortable with that situation. Desiree was not thrilled about the possibility of naked men at the weigh-in. We'll deal with the situation when it arises, but it's going to be interesting. Why are the ring girls at the weigh-in? Is that normal? Do ring girls usually, are they there to, like, but they're gonna be naked, like, with, uh, the men have to be weighed in a very specific way with like people, like judges around them to log the weight, make sure everything is going right. Why are the ring girls there? That doesn't make sense. Have I missed something? This is Nathan from the agency. Right, so he has to tell everyone there's going to be, like, cock everywhere. I'm good. I just wanted to call you to go over the itinerary for Portland. Okay. I gotta discuss something with you, babe. Oh, dear. I was booked on a national team. Ah, Erin's booked on an actual campaign again. She's getting this paid. This is a really bad predicament. Oh, yeah. I gotta call the client out. Yeah, because I'm sure modeling jeans for two days is worth a lot more money than being a ring girl for $500 for one night with no career progression. Sorry, it's just tea. We've had three encounters with you. The first job you, you blew off, the second job you didn't, you were, you, you were... Tea! Oh, they are not paying you enough, Erin, I agree. I lost one of our models. In fact, Erin's probably gone for good. Yeah. Now I've got to break the news to the IFL guys. Hey Mark, what's going on, it's Nathan. Um, I actually have some bad news to report. Aaron, unfortunately, won't be able to make the event. We are very embarrassed by this, and we would love to, you to maybe pick another girl from the ones you saw. But Natalie is probably our backup choice. So if she's available, we'd certainly like to have her. What is he doing? Natalie is probably... Is he on Microsoft Word there? What are you doing on words, Naughty? Right, so who was Natalie again? So if she's available, we'd certainly like to have her. Who was Natalie? I what talked to Natalie Mark from the today, and he wasn't thrilled to hear that Aaron wasn't going to be able to make it. I was a little bit embarrassed through that. It was very unprofessional. But that's how the business is, I guess. We're replacing her with Natalie, and oh, Natalie, things will yes. go on. Thank you very much, Mark. And once again, I apologize for Aaron. Have a good one. He Bye. seems like a better business person to deal with than Janice. Very understanding, calm, didn't lose his mind. I mean, he is 19, though. Why don't you guys go to, the, go to your bag check then and check your bags in? Oh, what's this? They're flying. We're um, all at um, LAX right now, waiting for our LAX. flight to Portland, which leaves pretty soon. So Portland. Where's Green Portland? Girl. Da, 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 da. Gout. Gout. 
Gout. Gout. Our flight was a little bit late. So Portland we... OR. What's OR? Oh, Ochang. Oh, Portland Ochang. Oh, and then we had to rush to get to the way in for the IFL match. Is it Oregon? Is that Oregon? Hexagon. The weigh-in is a media event where all of our fighters actually weigh in. Right, if it's a media event, they're not going to be naked then, are they? Absolutely, they're not going to be naked. If it's a media event where photos, professional photos are being taken, they're not just going to have their full-on genitalia on display, are they? Your outfits for you, your ring-girl outfits. And Marie's actually going to show you your dressing rooms. We have about 13 minutes to get this done. Okay. We had two seconds to do our own hair and makeup, oh. to put on those uniform outfits. This isn't modeling. Um, no. Jess and I both know that this is not the kind of work that we want to do, and of course we'll do it right now, but we, I mean, we weren't That's too true. excited about the job, I'm not going to lie, but I, I don't know, I'm not that excited. Um, Natalie, let me know if yours doesn't fit, because I don't think we had your measurements when we went shopping. Desiree, I haven't seen you, I'm so nervous. Uh, I know, just give me a second. I expected the outfits. I didn't really have a problem with that. Well, I'm not happy about this. It, this is obscene lingerie. It's just like, I know we're here already, but there's like more to it than like the low fee that was negotiated. That's it's all I have to say. It's very appropriate for our ring girls. The guys love yeah, it. But this is like, it's, it's like wearing a Tampax. And you know, we, actually, it, like, you know the, the pay should have been more. They knew they were going to wear short and tiny outfits. I mean, it's not exactly something we're aiming for to be very, very skimpy. But at the same time, it's what sells. We want to show up as much of your models as we can. Remember, they all said, oh, it's going to be great for exposure. Can you just handle this? Because I'm like... Ugh. Pull out, Girl, pull out, pull out. If it's really worth this much to you, Janice, pull out of the job. Because if they're only paying $500 per model, this is $1,500. Pull out. Any capacity, but I mean, they're, it's a little skippy. I'm still pissed about the money. I'm still pissed about the money. I'm still pissed about the money. I also want to take just a minute and introduce you to the IFL Ring Girls. So give a big hand to, first of all, Natalie. Yeah. Hey. Desiree. Yeah. And Fargo. One of the Ring Girls' favorite parts of uh, being involved in MMA is getting to hold the towels and weigh in, so they get double duty here tonight. It's going to be a great night tomorrow night. Let's get the fighters up here and get them weighed in. Blue corner will be Daniel This is Gracie. not modeling. We were never told that we were going to be in such close vicinity with the wrestlers or whatever they are, fighters. We were put in our outfits and thrown onto the stage for the weigh-in without knowing what we were doing, how we were supposed to do it. It was very vague. And the first time the woman said, he's going to take off his clothes, he's going to take off his clothes. Our job is to cover them up if they do that. One of the fighters ripped away the towel covering himself um, during the weigh-in. Desiree was not happy about this. She actually ran upstairs and started crying. The amount of penis I have seen recently on this Chanel is unhinged. That is deep. That's not like, no, that's not, that's not what these girls agreed to. This is a very strange segment to have in this show. I'm actually genuinely confused about what this even is. What even is this? Desiree was not happy about this. Lost she for words, girls. started crying. I knew this was going to turn out bad. I guess for cameras or for whatever, he thought it'd be up. cute to pull the towel out of my hand and I just wasn't comfortable. No, and do you know what? So I didn't know what to do when the guy Good. pulled his towel down. Desiree walked away. I felt kind of awkward, so I tried to hold the towel up a little bit longer and then Janice pulled us off stage. There we go. As funny as he might think it is. Ha ha. Yeah, not funny at all. Not funny at all. You're right to walk away. You know, anytime you see anyone like pulling out their penis. Oh, thank you, I'm sorry. No, no, you don't, don't you ever say you're sorry. I'm up here to protect you. It definitely makes me feel better that Janice is like behind us and she at least will stand up for us. I'm sorry, I walked away. No, 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 I just, no listen to me. I know. Stop I it. You did the right thing. Okay. You did the right thing. Desiree's clearly upset. She's a young girl with dignity and respect, and she just, like, turned around and fled. And I, you know what? I applaud her for doing it. She clearly walked away from a foul situation. You know, I just don't even want to be here. You know, I have to see what Nathan's going to do to handle this. Trust me. Did you see what happened? The guy who exposed himself in front of my model, now she's upset. And I knew something like this was going to happen. You know, look at her. She's clearly just her upset. Nate, what do we do? 
Just well, go get her a glass of cold water, please. <sighs> My mom's pissed right now. She's not. She wasn't. She didn't want to come here in the first place, and now one of her models is feeling terrible. So she's going to be on the warpath. Get dressed, baby, and I'll wait for you outside, okay? I'm ready to go <laughs> mutilate that guy. I knew instinctively that something of this nature was going to take place. Absolutely, you have no idea how upset I am. Those kids are like my babies, okay? Take your time, I'll be with you. The girls may not show up tomorrow. I'm that, I'm, I'm that upset. Wow. That was quite a moment, wasn't it? I mean, the thing that we've seen before, though, is Janice has made some of these girls pose naked with men at the drop of a hat in her own photo shoots. So I can't help but feel also like a little bit, the vibe I'm getting here is kind of like, I'm only I can treat them this way. You know what I mean? I am glad that she stepped in and said that it's right what you've done. It's right to walk away. Like we're leaving right now. I'm glad that she said that because that was necessary. I don't, if she'd have reacted in any other way, I think that would have been abhorrent to be on TV. Why do they have to be naked? Literally a pair of underwear is what? Like 20 grams? What? The Janet Dickinson moodling as well. You got the dragons right there. Fargo. Fargo. Okay, so they're yeah. still, right still here. here. So today we were hired by the IFL to come and be ring girls. So today we basically just had our run again. throughs and then kind of just went around, figured out what we're doing tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen. So, so this is two days. Oh, I guess it's Anything I do, I always want to do my absolute yeah. very best. And I was booked for this job, you know, and they're paying me to do it. And personally, I'm really excited to do it. Uh, you'll be on that side and then Fargo. Just doing the same thing as I right, think exactly. down and up. Okay. They haven't okay. made them leave? Oh, so this is what Janice meant when she said, my girls might not even show up tomorrow. But she didn't stick to it because they're still here, so. The Anacondas! When they're actually doing the rehearsal, Desiree stops for no reason and just doesn't move or anything. And I was like, what the hell is going on? This is ridiculous. She missed her cue, and then she she didn't walk the whole length of, of the ring like she was supposed to. And then when I went up to her and said, what are you doing? And you stopped. And she freaked out and told me I didn't give her good direction. Here's my issue. I told her that you have to walk down the stairs, walk down the, the blue runway to the opposite corner. And I was under the assumption she was actually paying attention when the other two were doing it. Yeah. Clearly she wasn't, because she'd stopped. And then I came back and I said, what are you doing? And I she don't freaked out. Like You're not this. giving me right directions, et cetera, et cetera. I don't have time for this. I'm really, really nervous that she's going to do something tomorrow that's going to stop our production. Caught her from this, because if the other two are capable of doing it, fine. Yes, that's what and I just did. have her walk the ring. That's what I did. So Fargo and Natalie are going to do it, and they're going to switch places, and that's it. Oh, when we do the other Are you motions, cool with that? Because really that works for yeah, me. It's actually easier, because that way, they don't just have to worry about that. I was really relieved when I spoke to the representatives from the IFL, because we agreed that Desiree would still get paid, but she wouldn't have to actually walk the fighters in. She would just be a ring girl. Now the rough part is getting Desiree to actually- No wonder why she doesn't want to walk the fighters in. She's just had a bad experience with one of them who's probably going to be there for it. Please show up. It's I'm just cold. freezing. All right, well, we'll okay, well, I'm going to give you a couple. We'll give you an extra jacket to keep it warm, but I got to have you do this one quick rehearsal, and then we get to go home and get something to eat. So let me look at that real quick. Oh, please. she, like... What? Please, I need, I need you guys to line up so we can get, go and do this meeting. You need me to go up there again? Models can be a little bit prima donnas. Models can be picky. Models can be divas. In this situation, nope, this is what it was, and stick with it. No, we're going to walk around the ring. It's a different thing this time. You're not going to do that thing over. You're just going to walk around. Like you did that time at our offices. Okay. All right, thanks. So let's go. Oh, she Come doesn't want to do that. You're a tough girl. I'm hoping that when she sees a huge stadium packed place, that she'll realize that, you know, it's not about her. She'll just get it together. But if she doesn't, I'm going to raise hell. Like the conversation that's happening around this current event right now is wrong. It shouldn't be like, well, I hope she realizes it's not all about her. It's like she's actually had a really negative experience with this. She's not trying to make it about her. She's trying, she's actually showing that she's deeply uncomfortable and she shouldn't be on this job. Something should happen now where Desiree is not on this job. Does anyone agree with me here in the audience or do I feel like I'm shouting into the ether? Like this woman seems like wholly unfazed about, like she's just like, ah, ha, ha, the boys will be boys. No! The Janice Deckers are modeling for 20 years! Right, here we are. The fighters are waiting? They have to play a fight today. Right, so they're at the fashion show now? Yeah, they're waiting for us right now. It was supposed to start. Well, 
Who's organizing this photo shoot? Me. Stina and Pierce are exempt from the ring girl job because they are fashion models. Yes. But I had arranged for them to do a photo shoot with the fighters to add to their portfolios. I'm starting on Fargo. No, you're not starting on Fargo. Stop Fargo. Pierce was set up to do this. Sorry. However, the other girls needed to add to their portfolios as well, so I included Natalie, Desiree, and Fargo as well. Interesting. Okay, here we go. Interesting. Thanks, Nathan. This feels very like time for print exchange I talent. Did not plan. What is I didn't really leave us enough time to do our hair and makeup, and Gabe didn't seem too thrilled about that. I don't think he should have been voicing his opinion. He should have done his job and turned the models out, which he did. A little bit too much complaining. I'm gonna shoot them like fighting in back of the girls just standing there looking. I mean, kind of T from both positions there. Like, you should be able to speak up if your work environment is demanding too much of you. But also, I do feel like there is a time and place to do it, and being like, you should be fired is maybe not the right way to go about it. Difficult, difficult, lemon, difficult. Difficult, difficult, biscuit, difficult. Oh, this, th there's lots of emotions in this episode, my lovely, and they're all negative. I can't wait to die. Honestly, I cannot wait to die. So elegant, you know, it's like right. fashion elegant versus fashion fighting. MMA. Or fighting versus fashion. Oh, why I think are they that's here? The whole oh, the I conceived the concept of this shoot because there is such a contrast between fashion versus fighting. Hopefully, these photographs will be great. I'm just what waiting would for you use the them divas. For? Divas in making. I just Who got my hair and makeup for? done and getting ready to go shoot with Janice, which is extremely, extremely awesome because Exhausting. for Natalie and Desiree and I, we hadn't originally been included with that. Let's kind of do like the Lesbo shot over here, kind of. Let's kind of do like the Lesbo shot over here, kind of like no the, hot, the hot kind of like. Imagine if she said, I'll just come over here, JP. We're going to do the Gabo shots. Imagine. 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 I'm of the firm belief that you can reclaim your own slurs. If you've had something yelled at you for long enough, like you can use it as a joke for yourself and maybe your in circle and maybe online with your own audience if you do it in certain contexts. I don't like that because... No one in this situation, as far as we know, is a lesbian. And therefore, to make it kind of like jokey slur leaves me with an ill taste on the tongue. Like the hot, the hot kind of like. Right, remember, high fashion. Parker, you be in the middle. Right, the minute also, I said lesbo, every man in this room just went. <laughs> Even the gay one. Even the gay one. What? I'm in this room. Parker, you be in the middle. Right, the minute I said lesbo, every man in this room just went. <laughs> Even the gay one. Even the gay one. I did feel like. We didn't have as much time on Pierce and my shoot, but you know, if that's what Janice wants, that's what she gets. There you go, holler. Now we're cooking. What is this for? Who is this shoot for? Can everyone here see the difference between Janice's photos and that photographer we met earlier who shot JP Calderon? The level of difference in these shots is incredible. What is this framing? They're off to one side. You can't see their full shot. The girls are looking without focus. The man is just like, and that's the Darjeeling. Who is this for? Where is this going? Where where would this shoot go? Would this go on like my space page? Put it in your HTML footer. Dear diary, mood apathetic. Gentlemen, strike your poses. This is great. That's and may the good. best That's woman great. die. It's hard to watch Cena and Pierce get, like not have to audition for like ring girl type or any commercial type stuff because they're considered high fashion. Fashion, not, nothing to do with fight. Maybe. I'm really worried about the division that Janice has created. Fashion, maybe nothing to do with fighting, but also do the poses. Between the high fashion models and the commercial print models. Right. I think it really tells the models that some of you are worthy and some of you aren't. Yeah, and I that's do no agree, she does do that. Lower your finger, Daniel. How is, th how is this fashion? The lighting is so bad. The shadows are terrible. Why has she cut off all their feet? Beautiful. Every fighter is going to be exciting with those beautiful models around, you know, like, it's something different because we, like, always ready to fight and, I, he's like, we're just thinking about the fight man. and that in kind of stop. distraction. It's good. Dina, you look beautiful. Get in. I was a bit nervous going into this photo hey, shoot because girls. of what Janice told me last time I had a photo shoot that I overthink things. Chin down, baby. 
Christina, I want you to be more glorious. If I have to, you know, berate you until I get it, I'm going to do it. Stina was thinking too much, as usual. She gets very cerebral in her, in her head. Stina, sorry, Stina, please. I'm not going to say it again. Read my mind. It's hard to what try to want? please someone if you're not clear on what it is they want. Yes, 100%. Janice has not said, this is the kind of shot that I want. This is what we're doing. We're selling this garment. So think of everything about this garment being sold to you. Like, she's not said that. She just said, you're doing terrible. You're awful. I hate you. Die. Also, can you get off the floor, Janice? Not a single shot in this environment would look incredible because you're on the floor looking up. I've worked as a fashion photographer previously. I have shot down up. It makes people look gigantic and big and larger than life. And you can showcase products really well, like handbags or jackets or shoes this way. She's cutting off their, their ankles and not selling a point. So it doesn't make any sense as to why she's on the floor going, do this, don't do that, read my mind, because we're not getting a viewpoint. This is the same thing's happening when Matthew Anderson shot. You've got beautiful hair and makeup, but you're not serving it. Please, from within you, give it to me, okay? I feel like Janice For is what? never happy with what I do. No, she's not, you're right. I've taken ballet. I can <laughs> touch my foot to my ear because I've done so much yoga, you know? I've engulfed myself in the industry and I have gotten work for myself to try and get more experience and You've been live, sold a lie. Do Stina has been scammed. We have watched Stina be scammed. The Janice Dickinson scam agency. Everything that she tells me to do, and she's never happy with any of the stuff I do. I hope she watched do. this, watched this section back and was up. like, oh no, I yeah, was too up. hard. Like it, you mean it. I bet she was. I'm gonna kill her today. She's not on. Work with me. Look at me. <laughs> longer, longer, longer. She tells me to research and to get to know the, the industry and know what it is to be a model and I've But done she doesn't it. point you in the direction. And she's still like, she wants more. I don't know what else to give her. This is a I really, this is a sad episode. If this was a competition, I'd be like, oh my God, it's gonna be Stina versus Desiree. And I don't know how long. I work out like crazy. This morning I was the only one in the gym. I don't know what else to do. There isn't anything else Stand you can do because out. the problem isn't with you. Look at this terrible shot! Are we meant to believe that Janice took this from the floor up? The view no, no, no. When you do that, you amputate them in the shot. All right, I want to thank everybody here. That's a wrap for me. I feel like she's never happy. Peter. The Janice Dickinson's modeling nightmare! Hello, for big event, the Ring Gravel job, which I am absolutely excited for. I, I'm not nervous at all, which I really thought I would be, because there's going to be like 7,500 people. So wow, 7,500 people, goodness. Be fun. That is a lot. How much time do we have for these girls? We have to be out of here at 6:40. Oh, we're okay. I hope we are all respected tonight. I just have a low tolerance for men acting like animals. Yes, and so you should. Oh, yeah. But you are in the wrong, this is the wrong Ooh. environment for that. And tiny. Wow. <laughs> My name's Lori, and I'm the official IFL ring girl, and I'm here to help Janice's models. Now she looks tonight. like a ring girl. Uh, there really isn't an art to being a ring girl, so it doesn't take a lot to be a hot girl and walk up there and all the guys are gonna cheer for them. Hey. See, and that's why it's not modeling. It doesn't take a lot to be a ring girl. You just walk out there and the guys cheer at you. I'm not saying that like being glamour model or anything like that is like invalid as a modeling option. I'm just saying it's a very different industry. So I can understand everyone's frustration in this phase. I totally can. You guys, just let you know we've got 10 minutes until we I would, if someone right? asked me to be a ring girl once, I'd try it. Oh, wow, why not? Treat skirt. yourself. Yeah. I hate being Life's too short to say no to everything. But they're all stressed. You can see they're there. all stressed. Get it over with. Fargo seems quite don't. comfortable. Fight girl. Fargo. Let me see. Oh, you look Whoa. great. Hot. Very hot. Very, very hot. Anybody disrespects you out there, you have my permission to give them a swift kick in the balls, okay? Oh, ready, guys? Maybe not a thought. Ready, ready? Right, here we go. Oh my god. Are the women on the game? It's time for the interview. It's Time for a woman to hold up a number at you. Championships back in Portland, Oregon. Oregon, Oregon. 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 Oregon.
Thank you, Comcast. Ah. This is promotion. That makes, it all makes sense now why she didn't pull them out and it's just been like storyline. That makes sense because this is promotion for the agency. That's where the exposure comes in. When the girls came out, the amount of energy and excitement from the crowd was amazing. Yeah, it's but it's like not they for were them. more screams for them than there were for the actual fighters. No, because they're in shadow. The fighters were being illuminated. Oh, is this, is this, oh, they will get a free show. Beat, beat, beat. I don't like it when you touch me. Did he win? Oh, you win a gold star. Round two, girls. Everybody look at mummy. She knows numbers. I really didn't want to do this job. However, I really got caught up in the excitement. When it I is, saw my it is exciting. The ring with I must the admit. And the crowd Even as someone as myself who's not really like ever gone to fighting in this sort of a capacity before, when I have gone, it is exciting. The crowd is all energetic and loud. It is very masculine, but like it's still kind of exciting. Reacting to my models. Oh, I got so into it. I, I was I was the loudest of all. Oh, Nathan's first job for the agency was anything but perfect. But he's 19, and this kind of job will serve him very well for purposes in the future. Will it though? Oh, this is great, I love this. I think Peter should have managed this. This job was not huge from a financial perspective, but the agency got some great promotion, the models got some great photographs for their books, and I think Nathan and the models learned some lessons on being professional in challenging situations. All right, Natalie! It's in your finger. I knew when we chose to do this that it would be a positive event. There was a lot of naysayers, but Nay. you know, once you're here and doing it, even the girls that were a little bit nervous about it, once oh, they got into it, they, they just loved it. Everybody had a great time. Okay, except, except for Christina. Christina. Yes. I, I looked over her, and all of a sudden she Slow like mouthed to me, "I'm leaving the agency." <gasps> I'm like, "What?" So what's the drama goes. <laughs> I don't think that's the case at all. I really don't. What, what, what do you mean by it's, you're dispensable? I don't get this. What happened? Disposable, you mean. I have thought about leaving the agency, and not because I don't Oh, this last minute drama, girl. I just feel like my best Shaky interests zoos. aren't served here. I would agree. It's about her personal relationship with me. I'm uh, dispensable well, to her. I, don't, I can't speak for her, so I don't know what you're talking about. I just know that you're not dispensable to me. Right now, I need you to model. So if you, if you have a personal situation with her, I can't speak to her. You have to talk to her about it. You, you, you gotta kind of separate church and state. So some, something happened today during your photo shoot with Janice, and Janice didn't like what you she were doing. Told me, she told me again, you're overthinking things. And you know what? What I'm thinking about are my angles, what the camera is seeing of me. As a photographer, if she's directing me what to do. I do what I'm told, Peter, you know that. Sometimes she'll tell me that I'm doing a great job and that I'm doing amazing and that she loves everything that I'm doing in front of the camera and that I'm progressing so well. And then in the same breath, she tells me I'm fat. She tells me I don't know how to model every time I see her. If she's trying to raise you to another level, Shouldn't you like, like accept it and say that's great? Absolutely, but I don't get constructive criticism. Yes. I don't get. This I'm is what you Stina. Be Team doing. Stina goes. Oh, I get, you're a piece of crap and kick you to the curb. Team Basically, Stina. Now that Janice called her some bad names during their photo shoot earlier today. Said she was fat, she couldn't move, and and Janice and her totally got into it. Okay, what's going on? You're pissed off at me because I told you A, you're fat, and B, you can't model. Is that what, is that what it is? I overheard something. I love you, Matt. Yeah, well, you know what? I love you, too. I like him a lot. You, you can't. You can't. Every time that there's a huge job, I'm always putting you up for it. But you're still stuck in this, in this look. When you look into the camera, you're complacent because you're thinking too much. So I don't think you're ready as far as your look goes. You need to keep working on it. This morning, I was the only girl in the gym working out. Well, you should do that every day. Every well, day. well, that's your job as a model. Diet and exercise. Look at these fighters. Stina is one of my hardest working girls and one of my personal favorites. But if she can't handle the fact that I'm here to make her the best possible model that she could ever be, maybe she's not the model I thought she was. You know, I came here to shoot you and Pierce. I didn't I didn't even want to do this, okay? I didn't now that I'm here, I love the IFL, okay? But before that, it was only purely for you and Pierce. We work for you. Not me. I want to be the best model I can. All right, I'm going. Gaslighting. In order to push my career further, I'm gonna leave. Yes, 
Leave. It is not your fault, Dana girls. Ow! A cliffhanger! Next. No, no, stop it, stop it. I've been gobsmacked and silenced throughout this entire episode. And not the kind of silence where it's like, you're silencing me, I'm gonna go on a national news show and tell everyone you're silencing me. Please read this book about how I'm silenced. Anyway, I've got some thoughts. What an episode this has been, my lovelies. It's uh, been quite difficult. I swear most of the emotions we've seen in this entire episode have just been all negative, maybe except during the photo shoot with J.P. Calderon and uh, Instinct magazine. Although, I don't know why Janice self-inserted there. Like, she didn't need to be there. The whole thing could have been about, like, J.P.'s experience, like, shooting with an actual campaign. That photographer seemed really good. Like, some of the images that were produced were really impactful. And I feel like also J.P. was given the opportunity to say what he did and didn't want to do because it was a piece about him. So, Ella Biscuit Boy. Hello, baby. However, the IFL photo shoot nonsense and the IFL uh, fighter nonsense and the just the IFL situation whatsoever really rubbed me the wrong way. I think that I kind of agreed with Janice a little bit more in this sort of a section rather than I ever have done before. But then at the very end with her disagreeing with Stina quite that um, ferociously, also made me again just like, no, Janice is so unhinged, I just can't ever see eye to eye. Never. If I was an agent and one of my girls was ever put in a situation in which she suddenly was so uncomfortable that she left a set in tears, she's not coming back to that shoot and you have to formally apologize to me and my models as to why that a situation like that ever happened. I must admit though, this was like 15 years ago and that whole idea of like, well, boys, uh, be boys, uh, blah, they're just so unpredictable and quirky. I gotta be mad to work here, but you do have to have your cock out. Is very, and was very normalized. I feel like men and boys and that boyish, laddish, like boisterousness, would get away with anything. I still don't understand why the models had to be naked though. Not the models, sorry, the fighters. I don't understand why they had to be naked. I don't know, that whole situation was kind of weird. Let me know what you think about like the weirdness we saw there. And at the very end, that situation with Stina kind of left me speechless for quite a lot of it because I really felt what Stina was saying because Janice is really unpredictable. She is very like up and down and up and down. She'd be like, we're gonna do this today, but you're doing terribly. You are fat, but also you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, but it is disgusting. And it's like, how can you take any of those in a serious context to allow yourself to like develop? any of those criticisms or any of those, like then that's not, saying you're fat is not feedback. It's not constructive feedback. What can you do with that when you're there on a photo shoot doing something, like trying to do your job and someone's just insulting you, but you also have to like appeal to them. Like it's just impossible. Really didn't like that scene at the end there. I'm glad that as far as we've seen from the end of this episode, Stina has left the agency. Although, how many times have we seen a situation like that? And with that, my lovelies, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourselves scrolling past on the screen right here, my lovelies. Yes, you can. It's funny, when I'm not holding Biscuit, I'm just like... <laughs> and I also want to say a massive hello and welcome to the brand new Patreons. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon. If you wish to join the Patreon, there is a link in the description box below, my lovelies, with multiple different kinds of perks at different kinds of tiers. So, so I want to say a massive hello to Emma, Laura Hicks, Yvonne Arena Neve. Ariel Harrowing, Mabby Mab Mab, Lara, Larry Lane, Cassid E. Hawk, Nettie Matz, David Sasselhoff, and Stacey Leanne Kaminsky. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon, you gorgeous, gorgeous people, and allowing this Chanel to thrive and survive, and also allow us to pick apart exactly how we are the way we are when we were watching this kind of TV growing up. And as always, my lovelies, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Emoji, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Elizabeth Stone, Emily Warsham, Eric Castillo, Finn Dunham, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larry Lane, Laura Jane, Les Banana, Lizette Kez, Min Min Tia, Mariah Sherman, Ms. Kiss, Novembrix, Paolo Rivera, Rubix.co, Ryan Vita, Slampire Queen, Stefutech, The Chaos Collective, Vicky Walsh, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. Thank you guys so much for allowing this Chanel to thrive and survive, my lovelies. And you know what? I'm gonna leave it on the note of, if you find yourself in a very difficult situation, something's happened, you're not happy with it, please, 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 please do not feel bad for removing yourself from that situation. And with that, my loves, I will see you in the next one. <gasps> God.